Hello guys, after the survey we made, we have seen that there are many things that people doesn't know about coral reefs. My friend Felipe and I are gonna tell what people generally doesn't know about coral reefs. How does coral reefs are affected by fishing and pollution and the types of the coral reefs. Coral reefs are under severe threat from pollution and overfishing. The majority of reef loss or damage is not deliberate. Coral reefs are being degraded by an accumulation of stresses arising from human activities. In simple terms, stresses can be grouped by the actions of people extracting material from and pre placing materials upon coral reefs. Overfishing, pollution and coastal development top the list of chronic stressors. In many situations, chronic stresses are overwhelming the resilience of reef communities. Some coral reefs are covered with sand, rock and concrete to make cheap land and stimulate economic development. Others are dredged or blasted for their limestone or to improve navigational access and safety. In addition to this, long-term changes in the oceans and atmosphere and acute stresses from highly variable seasons, severe storms, earthquakes and volcanic eruptions also affect coral reefs. Overfishing Increasing demand for food, fish and tourism curious has resulted in overfishing of not only deep water commercial fish but key reef species as well. Overfishing of certain species near coral reefs can easily affect the reef's ecological balance and biodiversity. For example, overfishing of herbivorous fish can also lead to high levels of algal growth. From subsistence level fishing to the live fish trade, inadequate fisheries management is forcing the decline of fish stocks. Choose seafood products that come from certified, well managed and sustainable fisheries. Pollution Coral reefs need clean water to thrive. For little to waste oil, pollution is dam dam damaging reefs worldwide. Pollution from human activities are Inland can damage coral reefs when transported by rivers into coastal waters. Do your bit. Do not drop liters of dispose of unwanted uh, items on beaches, in the sea, or near storm drains. The survey we made has shown us that only 36% of people knows about the types of coral reefs. The types of coral reefs are fringing, barrier, and atoll. Fringing reefs grow near the coastal line around islands and continents. They are separated from the shore by narrow, sh shallow waters. Fringing reefs are the most common type of reef that we, we see. Barrier reefs also parallel the coastal line but are separated by deeper, winter lagoons. At their shallow, shallowest point, they can reach the water's surface, forming a barrier to navigation. The Great Barrier Reef in Australia is the largest and most famous barrier reef in the world. Atolls are rings of coral that create protected lagoons and are usually located in the middle of the sea. Atolls usually form when islands surrounded by fringing reefs sink into the sea or the sea level rises around them. These islands are often the tops of underwater volcanoes. The fringing reefs continue to grow under and eventually form circles with lagoons inside. To conclude our presentation, we have discussed that um, the things about corals that people usually don't know. It's important to understand about the topic because if we do not do anything soon, other coral reefs in the world are going to die. We hope this educational video taught you guys a little bit more about the program that we have. Thank you for watching the overview.